up tech nerds lottie here wishing you a slightly delayed happy new year from my holidays uh we're going to be looking at some rather interesting footage today from our second major test run on the centurion the first test run as many of you are aware um pretty straightforward stuff make sure the tank drives and operates as intended um this particular test run that we're going to be looking at today was specifically to test whether or not the stabilizer that I had repaired was working, or rather the stabilizer system, um, STAB for short. The STAB system on a tank uh, basically makes the gun barrel and the turret traverse fixed to a particular plane um, in relation to the tank itself. We'll get into that in a little bit more detail as we watch the video. So I'm going to be doing a bit more um, commentary for a number of different reasons, which we will get into right now. Here we are. Um, this is the GoPro footage from the test day. As you will see, it's in a very interesting spot. We have strapped it to the end of the barrel uh, for the Centurion. This is the only footage that we have from the day. Uh, I have edited this down, edited this down, um, so it's a bit more palatable. Unfortunately, the audio isn't the greatest, so that is why you get my wonderful commentary. At some of the louder bits, I will uh, let the audio play naturally, and you get get to hear that. Uh, but this way, I get to answer some questions uh, as well as explain what's going on. So, as you can see, uh, I have just installed the antennae on the tank. Uh, that serves no functional purpose besides looking cool. So you get to witness that. What I'm doing right now, um, you can just hear it in the background, the tank is, believe it or not, running the oxygen. Uh, it's just pretty quiet. You'll hear it a bit more as the turret swings around to about here. So you can hear it droning on a little bit more. Um, what I'm doing right now is making sure that there is no turret creep. Essentially what turret creep is, um, when you activate the commander's or the gunner's palm switch, if there's any bias within the electrical systems, the turret will tend to creep one way or the other and you need to trim that out. There's little, um, uh, little trimming knobs within the uh, gunner's systems that control that. Likewise, right now, um, I'm jumping in, first checking that the turret, uh, the barrel operates up and down manually. Now as I jump in, I am activating the stab and checking that the barrel itself doesn't have any bias up or down. So just doing little checks, making sure that that is all working. Of course, the vehicle has been warmed up for quite a little bit, um, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem, which it wasn't because I didn't pull it off. Here we are, fast forwarding a little bit. Um, I'm just playing with the turret a little bit. At this point, I am not doing any full circles because we are still on a rather narrow stretch of road. Again, fast forwarding uh, some more. We're just coming into the field now. 
As you watch this next few bits, I want you to pay special attention to the background, so the mountains and the trees in relation to the turret, especially when the tank turns, so right about now. So that is a good indication of the stab working. So you can see the tank is moving, it is doing a right hand turn, and the turret is keeping its position relative to the mountain in the background. up we have the big test and that is the elevation of the main gun. So um, at this point I've got the turret on the back uh, pointing over the back deck. This was more for me so I could actually see um, with my own eyes uh, relative uh, how the gun appeared next to the gun uh, next to the uh, to the engine deck. So we're going down a big culvert and just pay special attention to how the gun stays level. I believe this was just me having some fun with the turret itself, which you're allowed to do. Um, but those were the two big major tests. I was going out, checking that the turret remained stationary relative to the horizon, and that the barrel remained stationary relative to the horizon. So it was a relatively short look adventure. And here we are driving back in to there you have it that was the second of our um, two major test uh, adventures the third video in this series which will be next week um, will be our big ride day where we go and cause all sorts of havoc and fun one thing to note is that during the ride day we did not use the turret uh, the biggest reason for this is it's too dangerous when you've got people riding on your tank. Um, one, it could swing around and throw them off balance and all that, whatever have you. The second bit is there is no turret basket within Centurion. So if you have someone inside the turret uh, and the turret moves, or worse, uh, the inertia of the turret while the stab is on. Um, it goes a lot faster than people give it credit for. Uh, and we just, specifically me, I didn't want to be in that situation uh, where people could be in danger. So, yes, the turret is live and operational, but no, we were not going to use it um, while people were inside. Uh, but yeah, I will still be doing more videos on the stab system and the turret itself. So don't worry, there will be more. Uh, but the big ride day, we did not um, utilize the full functionality of the turret. Uh, not that we had to. We had plenty of fun uh, doing interesting stuff, which you will see next week. So you have to stick around for that. Um, but yeah. 
hit the like and subscribe, leave a nice little comment, ask questions. Uh, we like asking, uh, answering questions. So yeah, and it does really good for the algorithm. So um, this is the first video for 2024. Hopefully this year goes really good. I'm really surprised where the channel's gone so far in such a relatively short amount of time. Um, I'm hoping things go really good this year. So let's start wonderful.